Good morning. Welcome to Niger Anchor News newspaper runs up. 10 things you need to know on Friday morning. I'm Santiago Jose. 1. Olubadan of Ibadan, Obale Kambalogun, has passed away. 42nd Olubadan was 82 years old. Oyo State Governor Sheyi Makinde announced this in a statement. 2. President Bola Tinibu on Thursday, March 14, transmitted a letter to the House of Representatives seeking the repeal and reenactment of the student loan bill. The letter was read by the Speaker, Tajuddin Abbas, during plenary. 3. Senator Abdulaziz Musa Yaradoa, APC Kasna Central, on Thursday, March 14, emerged as the new chairman of the Northern Senators Forum, NSF. The ex-chairman of the forum, Senator Abdul Ningi, PDP Bauchi Central, had on Tuesday resigned from his position following his suspension for three months by the Senate. President Bola Tinubu on Thursday night held Iftar, which is the Ramadan fast-breaking evening meal. 5. President Bola Tinibu has appointed Dr. Dennis Otaro as administrator of the Presidential Amnesty Program, PAP. Otaro will be replacing Major General Barry Indumo, retired, who had served as interim administrator of the program since September 2022. 6. The Senate had berated the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for calling for resignation of God's with Akbabio as the Senate president over the 3.7 trillion naira budget pardon allegation by the suspended Senator Abdul Ningi. 7. Major internet access caught struck across several African countries Thursday because of the damage of submarine communication cables, telecom operators say. 8. The FCT minister, Nyeshon Wike, has berated the lack of tracking equipment for security agencies in the nation capitals, saying his administration will purchase drones for surveillance as border communities. 9. The group managing director, GMD of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, Meli Kari, has said the Porter Court refinery will commence operation in two weeks' time. Kerry, who appeared before the Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating the various Sonora maintenance town project of the Nigerian refineries, said over 45,000 barrels of oil have been stuck into the Porter Court refinery. 10. Bandit who abducted 287 school children at Kuriga in Chukum local government area of Kaduna State have demanded a 1 billionaire ransom to set their captives free. They also threatened to kill the victims if the ransom was not paid in 20 days. That is today's newspaper highlight. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. Please keep watching Aja Anchor News for more news.